Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. Today I am trying to get ready for a trip. Yay, I'm so excited. We are going on a trip to BC to a little town called Cranbrook. So my daughter is actually moving there in a couple of months. She is moving there to get her pilot training. She wants to be a pilot, so that's super exciting. And she's going to live with uh, some friends of ours over there who she never met. So we are making this little weekend trip so that the family can get to know her and she can get to know them. And she's also going to look for a car to buy there. So I have been super, super sick. Actually, I'm just gonna have to sit down here. Whew, cause my heart rate's going up. Um, and I'm out of breath. Whew. Okay. So I have been super, super, super sick over the weekend. I had to go off my antihistamines because I was doing an allergy test on Wednesday. Um, and so I had three days before my allergy test, I had to come off all my antihistamines, everything that I take for mast cell activation syndrome. And um, it, it didn't go well. I was so, 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 so sick. I had one anaphylaxis and then I had a couple of other episodes where I was throwing up a lot. I couldn't eat for two days. I lost like two kilos in two days, couldn't keep any fluids down. I was super dehydrated, so my heart rate was off the roof and I kept fainting. So much so that the day that my appointment actually came, I had to be almost carried by my husband to the appointment and uh, couldn't stand up, couldn't, you know, um, just walk, basically. He had to help me walk. I had to bring this little stool that every time, you know, we had to stop, I had to sit down. And uh, the doctor didn't do the test because he said, you're too sick for me to do the test. And if you could have a major reaction, if you're reacting like this, being off your antihistamines. So he's going to do a blood test instead, uh, which I don't have to be off my antihistamines. But I was like, oh my God, like three days of suffering for nothing. Like I was so bad, like I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink. My stomach hurt so much. I had rashes on my body. Um, throwing up, like the pain, it was just like awful. And this is like right before the strip. But now I need to pack. Uh, today is Thursday and I can't leave to pack on the day off or the, the day before because you never know, right? You never know how you're gonna wake up. I might just not be feeling well the day before. So um, I really want to pack today, but what I want to show you is what I need to deal with first because this, what I'm going to show you, is the result of me being sick for five days. So are you ready? This dresser is a disaster. There's like so many things, stuff on chairs, stuff on the floor. My bedside table is a disaster. The bed is not made. More stuff on the table. And then over here, just before the weekend, I was feeling great and then I decided to paint the bathroom. And so there's paint stuff here and I haven't put it away and I haven't put the baseboards back in the bathroom. So that's a bit of a disaster. And now, are you ready for this? This is the closet. <sighs> okay, so stuff here everywhere on the dresser. Anyways, it's an absolutely disaster and I can't even pack with all of this mess.
so that's a good start but my husband said I need to stop he's saying I'm doing too much that's my first day feeling a little bit better and he's saying I'm overdoing it and I'm going to crash and it's not a good idea he's right as much as I don't like to accept that he is right so I'm gonna leave the closet for today um, if I get it done tomorrow I get it done tomorrow if I don't I don't and uh, I still need to cook dinner so yeah just doing all of this and this and then still doing dinner that's just way too much so it's one of those things it's really hard to accept limitations but it's part of the journey right it's we need to know our limits and pacing ourselves it's absolutely the key and it's the part that I find the hardest so I'm gonna listen to him for today so I'm gonna make um, ribs for the meat eaters with scalloped potatoes and a Caesar salad and then for myself I'm going to make um, mushroom risotto because I don't eat meat. I usually make the ribs in the slow cooker but it's super late already it's like four o'clock so it's never going to be ready for dinner if I do it in the slow cooker I should have done this in the morning so I'm going to try the pressure cooker I've never cooked in the pressure cooker before but I don't know we'll see we'll find out I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I definitely overdid it today. But it was really nice cooking dinner. It definitely makes me feel a little bit better, more productive, more like I have a normal life. Um, but it was kind of challenging with my pots. It kept my heart rate kept going up a lot 
and I had to grab a chair and you know take breaks also my back went from like a level three to four pain straight into an eight like with no warning like within a few minutes it was insane um, I'm actually just with my oversized heating pad here and um, just lying on the heating pad and hopefully my muscles will relax a little bit um, so that I can actually sleep I want to go to bed early so that I can do the stuff that uh, I didn't get to do it today like I didn't clean my closet I didn't pack didn't do any of that stuff um, so that's all gonna be left for tomorrow so I want to make sure that I get enough sleep and uh, tackle those things tomorrow anyways I will see you guys tomorrow and uh, we can pack together guys I can't believe I'm doing this I'm leaving in 10 hours and I haven't even packed. This has never happened before. This is absolutely against all my rules. Never leave stuff for the last minute, but here we are. It is almost eight o'clock PM and I leave the house at six in the morning. So my plans of going early to bed, not happening because I still need to organize all that here. I am attempting to not bring a carry-on, to just have a backpack and maybe this other bag here as well. But basically, this is what I would like to bring. This backpack and then this. So, um, I'm only gone for two days, so it shouldn't be too hard. There's only two outfits that I'm bringing, but there's a lot of other stuff that I need to bring. I have to bring like a heating pad. I always have to bring like a pillow, a blanket, and all my medications and toiletry and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how we'll do. Let's get started. Oh my God, you guys, this is like closing a suitcase that's overstuck. Not happening. I cannot get this last little bit here closed. But in all fairness, I have two sweaters in here, two pairs of pants, two undershirts, so I think I'm gonna have to spread them into two. Sorry. Ah, success! So yes, finally did it. I just had to use the size a little bit bigger because I am putting a lot of bulky stuff in here. Just checking the weight because I don't want it to be too heavy for me to carry or I'll be super sore. A little bit of sugar in case my blood sugar goes down and some bars. I'm going to bring a pack of chips as well for salt. Mm. I'm not sure about this guys. I usually travel with a carry-on and then I have a handbag that I attach to the carry-on so I don't have to carry any weight when I'm traveling. So this 
means that I'll have weight on my back and my hands. I'm not sure about this. But I kind of feel a little bit ridiculous bringing a carry-on and a bag for a two-day trip. You know what I mean? The, oh, it's heavy, man. It's all the electronics, right? It's my laptop, charger, um, external drive, all that uh, camera, all that kind of stuff. That's heavy. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna try, but I might regret. I might regret that choice. So, this is it. Backpack, bag, and little pouch. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I never packed this light. I know I'm only gonna be gone for two nights, three days, two nights, but still, that's quite an accomplishment for me. And uh, well, that's it for this vlog. I know it was a little bit all over the place and, you know, plans kept changing and, but you know, that that's how it goes. I will be vlogging this trip, so stay tuned and uh, come along with me to BC.